Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how we can do setup of GoFish on our Windows. So as you know, I am not using my base OS Windows right here. I am using the virtual OS Windows right here. But it's up to you. If you want to uh, like uh, continue with the base OS, then you can continue with that. In my case, I'm going to uh, continue in the VM OS, right? And um, the steps for both are going to be exactly same. So don't worry about that. Okay, so without wasting time, let's get started. So let me make my screen a little bit smaller and here I'll change view to the full screen mode so that I won't get disturbed by other stuff. Great. Now, uh, first thing first, open the browser right here and search for the Google right here. Okay. So you might say that why I'm searching uh, Google on Edge because I don't like Edge browser. Uh, I want to stay with the Google search engine only. So that's why. So here I'll type GoFish and that should give me the link for Get GoFish website uh, on the top. So this is the official website of the GoFish and this is the official repository for the GoFish uh, GitHub, right? So let me click on the very first link and click on the download. It should give me options for the download. So right now it is redirecting to the GitHub release, uh, the exact GoFish link or our repository that we saw earlier. Now, if you go a little bit uh, down, if you scroll, then you will find that there is assets. In the asset, you will find a lot of zip for the Linux, for the OS X, and there we go, we have the uh, Windows zip. Now, when I click on that, it should get downloaded. So let's give some time. It really depends on your internet speed. Once it is downloaded, we need to extract that particular file. Right now, it is a zip file, but in some cases, if it is not extracting on your Windows, then you can install one program called 7-zip. Okay. So let me show you that 7-zip also. So if you type like only 7-zip, it will give you 7-zip website which is not here okay so this is 7zip.org this is what uh, the binary you supposed to download in case you don't have extract option in your windows now for me the files has been extracted and the folder is open automatically so in the folder i can see this gofish binary the db the static and the template so i am assuming the db will contain the database file which is basically looks like the MySQL database by default and has an option to add the uh, SQLite 3 database also. Then in the static, I think it will have all of the static pages uh, that will use to create the templates. And in the template, I think it will have the HTML files. Yeah, I am right. It is having the HTML files. Now, uh, in the config.json, you will find the configuration for the GoFish and uh, this is the binary of the gofish by running this particular binary gofish will start so without making any changes further let's start the gofish in the first place let's see how it's turned out so it is asking for some permission let me allow it and it should show us the one url can you see the url is https colon uh, 127.0.0.1 port number 3333 and there is another phishing server which is started at this particular 80. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open both of these so that you will get idea what is on the what. Okay, so if I uh, execute this particular URL, then it is not uh, responding at the moment. Let me go to the terminal back again. Let me copy this particular URL right here and let me see if that responds correctly. Okay. Okay, it is responding, but it's saying the connection is not private. Uh, yes, uh, that's uh, expected because whatever the SSL certificate is being used by this particular GoFish, uh, it's a self-signed SSL certificate. So don't worry about that. Just click on the continue and it should give you one uh, login and password right here. So I'm assuming the password and the credential details should be somewhere here when we launch the uh evil go fish let me check yes see here it is saying user is admin and the password is this random string right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just copy the password i'll tap read here admin and i'll paste that particular password 
and i don't think so i'm going to save that particular password because i have to change the password so here let me enter my password that i'm going to use so here we go okay now let me click on the save password and i get access to this particular nice admin panel okay now whatever is there whatever is uh, the admin panel is hosted is only 127.0.0.1 and port number 33 now if you want to change the port number or if you want to make a any changes in the phishing uh, endpoint then what you do is basically open this particular go fish now in order to open this particular go fish uh, sorry config.json file you should have either notepad plus plus or vs code so in my case i basically prefer to use vs code so let me say vs code download and let me download the vs code for windows it should start the download and as the file is only 100 mb it will not take much time so you might be wondering why i am recommending the vs code because vs code supports almost all extension so it makes uh, way much easier to edit the file so that's why vs code and as i am like a developer or the hacker in the daily basis i also use the vs code for a lot of things so it is easy for me to use the vs code so that's why i am recommending to get the vs code okay so vs code is completely downloaded let me click on it and let me start the installation process of the vs code okay i accept the agreement and next next create the desktop icon and let me hit on the install okay great the vs code is already installed so let me close the vs code from here and close the browser also because as it's not needed let me go back to the this downloads and let me see this go fish folder right here once i right click on it i'll simply say open with uh, but it seems like the open with option is not available. So what I will do I'll just open and then I'll open uh, Terminal here. I'll hit the shift key and then I'll do the right click. So this way I'll get access to this PowerShell window right here Okay, so once the PowerShell is loaded what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the shortcut to open the PS code Which is code dot. Okay, so let's wait for the PowerShell to load up it's taking a little bit time okay so i'll say code dot and it should open the vs code for that particular folder okay uh where is my vs code okay so this is my vs code right here let me click on yes and can you see all of the files are there already now let me close the powershell window and the folder because as they are not needed anymore here in the vs code can you see the config.json file is there so in the config.json can you see there are some stuff like admin server the phishing server the db name db path so by default it looks like the gofish is using the sqlite 3 database so here we can mention the custom database name also uh, we can mention the custom path where you want to store your database and the logging file name and etc in case you need to log create the logs right now let's come back to the admin server and the phishing server so what is the admin server admin server is this particular url that we opened previously the url 33 i guess so let me see if it is still there in my v uh, this one no it's not there don't worry i'll just uh, copy this particular url id and i'll go back to the browser and i'll hit enter so this is basically admin url so in the admin we can manage campaign create campaign and do all kind of stuff that we wanted to with the gofish framework so that's the admin url here you can mention different port also here you can mention the different ip also in most of the cases when we host on the uh, vs vps uh, we use the ip called 0.0.0.0, .0. that means it is open on all interfaces okay it is saying use TLS certificates, oh, it is set to true, but it is using TLS certificate which is self-signed because we are getting this particular error, not secure right here, okay? Then certificate path is this one, uh, which is admin, gofish admin.cert and key is this one 
and you can find these files right here if i click on this one you can see certificate and key contained right here and trusted origins are not added what is the trusted origins let's say i want to call gofish from the api right so in that case i will if i want to protect my api call then what i will do i'll mention the ip address right here or domain address right here in this particular list from which the api calls will be allowed okay so that's a trusted origin great now uh, hence we are say setting ping everything on the local i'm just going to keep everything same the port is going to be same and this particular interface is also going to be same now now here so we have the phishing server and the listen url is on the 0.0.0.0 and port number 80 which is expected because whenever we uh, launch any phishing campaign it is necessary to use port 80 or port 443 i recommend using port 443 obviously the tls certificate is false and certificate path is this one and key path is this one remember right now we are doing all setup on the local so that's why we are using self sign certificates but when we are going to do this particular setup on the vps on the server we are going to use the certificates and the keys from the uh, any certificate provider like let's encrypt so that we will get that green lock icon okay rather than getting the red uh connection not secure okay i hope you got the complete structure how to set up this particular gofish on the windows so in the next video we are going to discuss about the dashboard probably video number uh four right so in the video number four or lecture number four we are going to discuss about the dashboard like how to create the campaign what is the campaign uh what is the user group template and etc etc list goes on and on and on right so yeah uh, please make sure that you jump on that particular video to watch that particular topics, right? So yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next